Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss the first module of structural analysis two paper. As I have mentioned in the last class, your first module of structural analysis two paper is three moment equation or Clapeyron's theorem. This method is a force method used for the analysis of statically indeterminate structures. As I have explained in last class, this module includes mainly three topics. First, derivation of three-moment equation. Second, analysis of statically indeterminate beams without support settlement. And third, analysis of statically indeterminate beams with support settlement. Now, let's discuss the introduction of this module. The three moment equation express the relationship between the moments at three successive supports and the loading on the two spans between those three supports with or without the unequal settlement of the supports. Using three moment equations, continuous beams can be analyzed. Now, let's go to the first important topic of first module that is derivation of three moment equation consider a continuous beam a b c as shown in figure let a b and c are the successive supports on a continuous beam let this beam carry udl throughout its length okay so you are given a continuous beam a b c carrying UDL throughout its length. Now, L1 be the span of beam AB and L2 be the span of beam BC. Similarly, I1 is the moment of inertia of the beam in span AB and I2 is the moment of inertia of the beam in span BC. Okay. If the middle support B settle down. If the middle support B settle down, as you can see in the figure, H A will be the relative position of support A with respect to support B after unequal settlement. Similarly, H C will be the relative position of support C with respect to support B after unequal settlement. Now, draw a straight line that is A1 dash B C1 or let A1 dash B C1 be a horizontal line through B and just see A2 dash B C2 be the tangent to the elastic curve at B. So, a1 dash B C1 is the horizontal line through B and A2 dash B C2 is the tangent through B. Is that clear? Okay. Now, consider the second figure. Here, the free moment diagrams on span A, B and B, C is given. You all know free moment diagrams are bending moment diagram corresponding to load. Since this beam carries UDL, your free moment diagram will be parabolic. Is that clear? So, first consider the free moment diagram. Let A1 be the area of free moment diagram in span AB. So, here A1 is the area of the free moment diagram in span AB and A2 is the area of free moment diagram in span BC. Is that clear? So, this is the free moment diagram and A1 is the area of free moment diagram in span AB and A2 is the area of free moment diagram in span BC. And A1 is the distance of centroid of A1 from support A. So, the centroid of A, small A1 is the centroidal distance of this area and A2 is the centroidal small a2 is the centroidal distance of area capital A2 
from support C. Is that clear? So small a1 is the centroidal distance of area a1 from support A and A2 is the centroidal distance of area A2 from support C. Okay, so this is the free moment diagram. Now let's look at the final end moment diagram. Let the final moment at A be MA, at B MB and at support C is MC, then your final moment diagram will be like this. In SA1, you have studied actual bending moment diagram will be the difference between final moment diagram and free moment diagram. So here first we consider the free moment diagram. Now let's see the final end moment diagram. So here you can see the final end at sub end moment at support A is MA at support B is MB and the final moment at support C is MC. By connecting these values we have drawn the final end moment diagram okay so here in span a b the end moment diagram is divided into a right angle triangle and a rectangle the area of right angle triangle is a4 and the area of rectangle is a3 similarly for portion pc uh, the final moment diagram is divided into two area a5 right angle triangle and a6 rectangle Okay, and centroidal distance of A3. Centroidal distance of a rectangle is given by L1 by 2 and centroidal distance of A4. Centroidal distance of a right angle triangle is 2 L1 by 3. Similarly, centroidal distance of A6 is L2 by 2 and centroidal distance of A5 to L2 by 3. Is that clear? Okay. Now, let theta, just see the first figure, let theta be the angle between the horizontal line and the tangent at B. See, theta is the angle between the horizontal line and tangent at C. Consider right angle triangle, just see the first figure, consider right angle triangle A1 dash B A2 dash. From that right angle triangle, tan theta will be equal to a1 dash a2 dash divided by l1. Similarly, consider right angle triangle b c1 c2. From that right angle triangle, tan theta will be equal to c1 c2 by l2. Since both the thetas are same, a1 dash a2 dash by l1 is equal to tan theta is equal to c1 c2 by l2. Is that clear? Then, for deriving three moment equation, first you need to find A1 dash A2 dash and C1 C2. So, first let's calculate A1 dash A2 dash. Just see the first figure. From the first figure, this is A1 dash A2 dash. In place of A1 dash A2 dash, you can write HA minus A a2 dash. Just see the figure A2 dash A1 dash can be written as HA minus A A2 dash. Is that clear? Then A A2 dash is the deflection of A from the tangent of B. Just see this figure A A2 dash is the deflection of A from the tangent of B. Okay. By moment area method deflection at any point can be calculated by using the equation deflection is equal to moment of m by ei diagram so deflection of a from the tangent of b can be calculated by using moment of m by ei diagram between a and b above support a is that clear moment of m by ei diagram which can be written as ha minus we have drawn free moment diagram and final end mo moment diagram. We want the moment of M by EI diagram. So 1 by EI is a constant. So you can write HA minus 1 by EI1. For span AB, 
the moment of inertia is I1. So, 1 by E I1 into C first area consider the portion AB in free moment diagram. The area moment is capital A1 small a1 and just see the second figure final end moment diagram. The area moment is a3 into L1 by 2, area into centroidal distance. We are taking moment of area. Similarly, for area A4, the moment is A4 into centroidal distance to L1 by 3, which can also be written as HA minus 1 by E I1 into A1 A1 plus. See this area A3, A, A3 is a rectangular area. So, in place of A3, you can write MA into L1. So, MA into L1 into L1 by 2. Plus, see area A4. A4 is the right angle triangle. So, area is half BH. So, area is half into half into basis L1. Then, see this height, this altitude, which can be written as MB minus MA. So, half into MB minus MA into L1 into centroidal distance to L1 by 3. Is that clear? Then simplify it. You will get HA minus 1 by EI1 into A1 A1 plus MA into L1 square plus MB into L1 square by 3 minus MA into L1 square by 3. MMA coefficients you can add. So finally you will get HA minus 1 by EI1. I1 into A1 A1 plus MA into L1 square by 6 plus MB into L1 square by 3. From this equation, take 6 as common and take it as HA minus 1 by 6 E I1 into 6 A1 A1 plus L1 square MA plus 2 L1 square MB. So, A1 dash a2 dash is equal to HA minus 1 by 6 E I1 into 6 A1. You have taken 6 common and take it out. You will get HA minus 1 by 6 E I1 into 6 A1 A1 plus L1 square MA plus 2 L1 square MB. Put it as equation number 1. Is that clear? Then next you have to find C1, C2. Just see the figure. From the figure you need to find C1, C2. Instead of C1, C2 you can write C, C2 minus HC. Just see the figure. Instead of C1, C2 you can write C, C2 minus HC. Then C, C2 is the deflection of C from tangent of P. So instead of C, C2 you can write deflection of C from tangent of B. Then the deflection can be calculated by using the formula moment of M by E I diagram between C and B about C minus HC. So, in this case, you are considering portion BC. You consider the free moment diagram and final end moment diagram. Take the moment of the areas. So, you will get, since we are taking moment of M by E I diagram, 1 by E I 1 into Consider moment of area A2. A2, A2 plus final end moment diagram. A6 into L2 by 2 plus A5 into 2 L2 by 3. Similar to what we have done in the previous slide. Instead of A6, you can write MC into L2 and instead of A5, you can write half into MB minus MC into L2 then simplify it. You will get 1 by E I2 into A2 A2 plus MC into L2 square by 6 plus MB into L2 square by 3 minus HC. Here also you can take 6 as common and finally you will get C1 C2 is equal to 1 by 6 E I2 into 6 A2 A2 plus L2 square MC plus 2 L2 square MB minus HC. Put it as equation number 2. Okay. So, 
you have already done a1 dash a2 dash now you get c1 c2 then from first equation you know a1 dash a2 dash by l1 is equal to tan theta is equal to c1 c2 by l2 from that equation you can equate a1 dash a2 dash by l1 is equal to c1 c2 by l2 you have already got a1 dash a2 dash and c1 c2 substitute that values in this equation you will get an equation like this simplify it and finally you will get the three moment equation by simplifying these equations you will get a final three moment equation ma into l1 by i1 plus 2 mb into l1 i1 plus l2 i2 plus mc into l1 l2 by i2 is equal to 6 e ha by l1 plus 6 e hc by l2 minus 6 a1 a1 by l1 i1 minus 6 a2 a2 by l2 i2 so this is the three moment equation this equation you have to by heart it so that you can do problems okay so by simplifying the equation a1 dash a2 dash by l1 is equal to c1 c2 by l2 you will get the three moment equation by heart this formula so that you can do problems is that clear so this is how you have to derive the three moment equation thank you